Hello and welcome to Built and Deployed, a technical video series for cloud architects. We are here to talk about how Davide Pastorino and his team at Duit Systems have helped Punch Torino running its computational fluid dynamics simulations 24% faster using 33 fewer cores by leveraging high performance computer cluster on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Davide, please walk us through the Punch Torino flow from on premise to the HPC cluster. Identify the services you are running on OCI today. The users log on to the access and control web interface and submit their HPC job through it. The control node analyzes the job's requirement and deploys the, the appropriate compute nodes in the cloud. Once the chosen nodes are ready, we take the job in charge. The results are then stored on the warm file storage. And after the job has ended, the users can access the results uh, by launching a remote graphical session through the access and control node again and proceed with post-processing. The remote sessions run in the cloud on the GPU-capable instances. What is the HPC cluster function? And how does it scale from normal to busty workloads in both bare metal and virtual machine instances? This is a solution that, that does not contemplate on-premise HPC resources. Everything is in the cloud. So users uh, have access to physical workstation for pre-run checks before job submission and nothing else. Uh, the HPC workloads are all executed in the cloud and nodes are scaled based on the amount of resources required by the jobs and the availability of software licenses. Davide, could you explain the storage tiering used in the solution? The local storage on the compute and visual nodes is used for hot temporary data that is deleted at the end of each job. It is just a scratch data. Job results are stored in the warm file storage for ease of access during post-processing as they are permanent uh, and the nodes are not. Uh, once the user has ended working on a particular data set, all variable data can be either downloaded or stored in the cloud within the cold object storage. What is in the works for future deployments on OCI? Yeah, we are looking forward to including new types of instances, such as the X9 uh, in the architecture, as soon as they are released to general availability. Also, we are planning to see if Fast Connect uh, will help to the customer to communicate with the cluster and uh, start transferring some more data, or maybe enhance the latency of the virtual remote sessions on the GPU nodes. Thanks for joining us today, and stay tuned for more technical conversations with OCI customers. <laughs>